Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. I'm here today with Miss Wizarding World on Instagram. Hello everybody. So today we're first gonna start off with the seven must tries inside the Wizarding World of Harry Potter here in Orlando, Florida. Butterbeer. 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 It comes in a couple of different varieties. You can do frozen, you can do regular. During the seasonal months in Orlando, you can do hot. My personal favorite is the frozen, uh, especially for Orlando with the hot weather. The next must try in the Wizarding World is a chocolate frog. Everyone knows a chocolate frog. They have cards, chocolate frog cards inside here. The chocolate is delicious. And what's great about these, you can trade with people at Honeydukes. You can trade your chocolate frog cards. All right, so another Wizarding World must try is Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. So it comes in the box, which is really cool because you can take it home as a souvenir. I keep mine in my office um, for decoration. There's a little insert if you want to cheat and kind of figure out what each bean is before you try it. Or you can just blind taste. Definitely worth trying at least once or twice. The next Wizarding World must try are the fish and chips. This is my favorite dish here. People from England have come over, tried the fish and chips, and they say that these are better than they are in the United Kingdom. You can purchase them at the Leaky Cauldron and the Three Broomsticks. The next thing that you've got to try in the Wizarding World is going to be the pumpkin juice. The first important thing to do is to make sure you shake it really well. It's kind of got that Thanksgiving vibe to it. It's really good. It's a little sweet, but it's one of those things. It's just iconic, but definitely try it. You're gonna feel like Harry Potter. The next must try is Eternal's Elixir of Refreshment. It's a tongue twister. It is a tongue twister. <laughs> you get yourself some gilly water, uh -huh. and, and then you choose whatever potions or elixirs, and they have different flavors. This is Fire Protection Potion. I got a babbling beverage mixture. Elixir of Euphoria. Ooh, Drought of Peace. Ooh, that would be Ooh. nice. And you put them in your ghillie water, and you have a different potion for different reasons. So cool! They're different flavors, too. Mm -hmm. So another reason these are a must-try, you get to keep the little vial. So it's a fun thing to collect and kind of commemorate your trip. Um, you can display them anywhere. They're really fun. Ice cream from Florian Fortescue's. What did you get? All right, so I went with the Earl Grey and Lavender, and then the Strawberry and Peanut Butter. What's so cool about the hard-packed ice cream is that they are flavors that we know from the Harry Potter books. They also have soft-serve butterbeer ice cream, which is my favorite. It's, legit. it's so good. So good. You can only get the soft-serve ice cream in Diagon Alley. Mm -hmm. Florian Fortescue's, the Hopping Pot, and the Fountain of Fair Fortune. Well, those were the seven must-tries at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando, Florida. Those are some of our favorite things. Hopefully, that gives you um, something to look forward to and and you feel a little bit more confident when you're here. Absolutely. Special thanks to you, Miss Wizarding World. Her info is down in the description below. She, I call her the expert of the Wizarding World. She's here all the time, so she knows her stuff. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also reach me on Instagram at the Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. I'm Taylor. I'm Jonathan. Keep, Keep collecting. collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?